Hello everybody and welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. Today we'll be playing in Substance uh, Alchemist and we'll be creating a material um, showing, showcasing the ground texture of Mars. Um, I'm just, I'm getting very inspired from the new Doom game, Doom Eternal, so I just want to make a material that would be somewhat close to what they what they use in there for their um, landscapes, you know, for, for the Mars texture sets, for the ground sets. So in order to achieve this effect, we've luckily got a red desert soil uh, asset from Substance Source, which we'll drag in. Uh, this is the material. Uh, obviously, there's no water on Mars, so unfortunately, we'll have to dry it as well. Um, okay. Uh, some other things that we can do is remove these rocks that you see in the scene, uh, these yellowish, uh, orange yellowish rocks. So in order to do that, we'll just take the small stone density to the min to a minimum, uh, and already this gives us a way better effect. Uh, we'll also, you know, the sand amounts we'll leave about there for now. We can we can probably play with the um, you know try and play with it with the settings a little bit, try and get a bit of an orange orangey brownish color out of it. Um, yeah, something like that for now. We'll, we'll just play with it uh, more uh, later on. Uh, let's add some more ambient occlusion intensity. Well, actually, no, let's take the ambient occlusion intensity off because we're going to add some more textures on top later that's going to increase that um, intensity. We'll get the normal intensity. We'll raise that up a bit uh, just to get a bit more detail in the in this uh, uh, basic, you know, starting texture. Um, I've got this material here uh, called sand, uh, which if I save my material right now, let's just say Mars Brown. So if I save this, I'll be able to then open my sand. Um, and this is the sand material that I've got off of uh, Google. Uh, it's not very high res, but it's something very basic that you can do. You just import the image, make a tile advance and then one adjustment layer, you know, just for tiling it. But I've not equalized the texture in any way, you know, any of the any of the um, colors in it, I've just left it as is because I'm not gonna use it for anything other than, than just adding a bit more uh, variation in this texture. So we're back on our Mars uh, ground texture. Uh, we're just gonna drop in the sand and then we'll go to the sand blending parameters. We'll change the directions from bottom to uh, from top. And now we're also going to increase the material scale to number two, which will then give us more resolution on the sand. Uh, we'll also go to advanced parameters and enable recompute normal. And recompute ambient occlusion from height map. Yeah, that should um, give us a bit more depth between the sand and the, and the texture underneath. Um, we're also going to go to um, offset and basically just just um, play with these settings until we get um, sort of these patches left. Um, we can you know we we can play with this until we get the uh, whatever desired effect that we want. Uh, we can play with the height uh, depth if we want to. I mean we can add a bit more of that and that's going to add a bit more ambient occlusion to the scene, which I think that's about right. But again, we can come back to these settings later on and, and play with them. Uh, the next filter that we want to add is a dust filter and this generally helps with blending the scene together. We'll take the quantity down quite a bit and then we'll change the color of the dust to um, let's say something something around you know a reddish color. Okay again we can play with these parameters later on. The next thing that we want to do is add a color variation filter, uh, which should be uh, in here. No, sorry. It's uh, up in finish, right? So I've added the color variation filter. We'll take the materials down to, num to four. We'll keep it as metallic roughness, and then we'll go into colors and start picking some uh, random colors. I always like to start with very uh, powerful colors so we can actually see what each slider, what, what each of these colors do. Um, so yeah, something like that. Okay, so the next thing we do is we'll, we'll take the blue and we'll again go to a, this is our most uh, spread color basically, we'll, we'll um, take this to a red 
Um, then we'll take the green and go to something a bit more brownish. Somewhere around there. Then we'll take this deep red and we'll just bring a bit of light into into it. But let's just, you know, just tune, tune around with it until we get the right effect. Yeah, something like that. And then this this yellow, we can potentially be leaving it this way as we can, we can get a highlight with it, but I think it's a bit too strong. So, something like that. Okay, seems we have lost a bit of our height. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, well, we're actually we're going to add another uh, filter, which is normal to height. We'll put it between dust and color variation, and this should give us, yeah, this gives us a bit more height to work with. Uh, okay, now I think our texture is a bit too much on the light side. So, uh, you know, we can go to, the, to this dust and start to decrease it a bit more. Try and get a bit of a uh, different variation in there. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be giving us too much of a, uh, which is because we've got the color variation on top, that's why, right. Okay, so we'll leave it around there. We'll go to color variation. We'll go to the colors, these colors again. And we will have to start dropping them a bit because they are too powerful, too strong. Hmm. Okay. We'll take this orange. Okay. So now we're a bit too much in the... Um, you know, I mean, this is this is it looks almost wet, so we may want to go to a roughness and increase the roughness in some in, in some of these um, some of these textures. Um, again, I think the sand is definitely way too light, and it's not really affecting a whole lot. Okay, yeah, that should that should make it about right. Okay, back to color variation and let's play with the colors a bit more. So we've got this uh, very light tone in here, which I think we could probably tone down a bit. It's, it's very important, you know, you do these subtle changes and it basically will, will put the scene together. Um, I think on, on the dust part of things, we can probably add some more volume in there or decrease the volume depending on which, which is going to give us a better effect. I think less volume is gonna give us a better effect, actually. Okay, so less volume, but let's just go a bit higher on quantity. See, the, the, the way the color variation of the dust works is the color variation has now picked the dust's uh, color and is basically multiplying it or you know changing it in different ways. Um, okay, that should be what we wanted. Um, I think this is a bit, yeah, this is a bit too, too of the light one. Okay, so, yeah, something like that. So now if we go to uh, the viewer settings and we change it to a sphere, then that's basically, that's basically the mesh that we've got. Um, I think, I think it basically looks, you know, it looks quite chunky and it looks quite, uh, uh, like it would fit into the uh, Doom sort of environment. I mean, we can increase the, the, the displacement as well, so you can you can see. Um, I really like how it uh, you know how it, how it came out. Um, some other things that we can play with is we we can add some water on top. Now, the uh, red desert soil did have <clears throat> did have its own water level slider, which we can you know bring up, and, and then we can get this uh, color effect. Um, but this water is basically underneath all of these, so all these filters. So we'll take the water level down, and what we'll do is we'll add our own water on top. Uh, so I'm going to go with the filters and take the water filter and add it on top of the color variation. And this is basically the water that we're getting. Let me just get this uh, displacement amplitude down a bit because I think it's too much. Right, so on the water um, parameters, we can change the sludge color to a, you know, let's get this color in here. We can then take the water level a bit, you know, um, let's try and get it a bit, um, 
below the threshold. <laughs> um, okay, we've got some edge uh, wetness. If we want the, the edges around each of these, uh, each of the ground texture to be wet, uh, we've got all these dirt slides as well. Uh, you guys can play with these as much as you want and basically get the effect that you want. You know, we can increase the wetness distance to to cover as much of the uh, uh, ground as, as possible. So. We're just going to put that into uh, a sphere parameter as well, just have a look at it. So what do you guys think? I think it could definitely fit um, the um, the Doom sort of, uh, Doom Eternal sort of um, uh, texture. Uh, you know, what they're going for in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a very quick, uh, you know, um, material that we just did in Substance Alchemist. Again, this is just to showcase some of the features that you can use and how quickly you can get a very good texture, ground texture especially, that you can use. I'm actually going to use this in one of my upcoming projects in Unreal Engine. So stay tuned for that because I will be making a video soon on, on, on that project. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, just like and subscribe and I'll, I'll make, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to make more videos about uh, uh, doing Substance Alchemist materials, definitely more advanced ones in the future. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the